So, there hasn't been many guides, so I'm going to do a quick one here. Uh, when you get a pet that's lower level than you, in Classic, people say attack mobs that are level 60, which is kind of a pain in the ass because it's hard enough trying to do enough damage as a hunter, regardless. So, I'm going to show you guys some... Uh, well, this is the spot that I'm using. I don't know. You could use probably any spot with level 50 mobs. Requires a little bit of kiting, but easy stuff. Kinda. But I'm not looking up at my uh, stream labs. So anyways, this was kind of a bad start to the video, but uh, we're gonna roll with it anyways. I'm just gonna show you. Because I found Broken Tooth a couple weeks ago. I was about to log out and I was like, you know what? I got a feeling he's, I think he's there. You know, I think he's, I think he's waiting for me to uh, make him my buddy. So here we are. Uh, he was level 37 when I got him. I just started leveling him now and it's kind of a lot more efficient than it was before. I went to uh, Eastern Plague Lands where they said, this is supposed to be a good spot here with the night elves that are ranged, but it's not because you end up pulling more than one mob and you pretty much get, f excuse my language, fucked. Uh, it was way harder. This is way easier. So I'm going to show you guys a little me method I use. Since the pet really doesn't do anything. So you want to put down, the, yeah, immolation trap. Mark them. Mark get that big burst out there for right off the hop. Aim shot, multi-shot, serpent sting. Runs over the trap. One mongoose bite. GG. Rinse and repeat. Next one. If you get crits like this, it's even easier. I'm not like fully, fully geared yet, but it's still really easy. And another big Another big thing I'm going to uh, really want to test out is saving all of my training points for when he's level 60. And I'm probably going to lean more towards like I'm going to obviously train him rank eight bite and claw. But as far as uh, HP and armor, pretty much all the damage your pet's going to ta take in the raids is fire. Uh, it's usually all magic. Mo a lot of it's really fire. So I am going to save most of my points and train the highest level fire resist. Because when your pet dies, you do lose a lot of damage. And some people say that the pet is whatever. If it dies, it dies. But me, I've been playing World of Warcraft for 15, almost 16 years. And as a hunter, your pet is pretty much number three on your, your total damage. Obviously, this guy, such low level, he's not doing shit. But most fights, my pet's usually number three. And the beautiful thing about Broken Tooth, the pet in Badlands, you did this one here that I'm leveling up, is he has the fastest attack speed out of all the cats. And I believe that that number three top damage from the pet, pet's attack, I believe that's going to be increased quite substantially. I think it'll be noticeable. Um, that's why I am definitely taking the time to level this cat up. And if you're looking for a cat to level up, and if you're actually around his level, and you can tame him off the hop, even better for you. But I've had terrible luck taming rare pets. I think I spent two and a half weeks trying to tame the pet in Wrath of Lich King. I believe his name was Lock Naha Lock? Locks? Jeez, I can't I can't remember. Lock Nahak. I believe that's his name. 
uh, the Spirit Beast cat. Just super badass looking cat. And I had no luck with it. I found this one. I don't... He's not as rare, but it's still a kick-ass feeling to tame something. It isn't exactly always there. You could get... It could take you a month to find him. It's all luck. It's all RNG. And then if you're like me, you don't really have a whole lot of RNG. RNG just has had not been kind to me. This entire month, I've been trying to get the sinew off Oni, and it hasn't happened. So, RNG is hit and miss. That's pretty much going to sum up the video, I think. Um, like I say, it's a bit of a grind to level the pet up. But I think once he's level 50, from 50 to 60, shouldn't be nearly as bad. But this is going fairly quick. Like, I got two levels within less than 45 minutes, so. Yeah. Hopefully you guys have a good, uh, a good hunt. A good RNG. Bless ya. Because I don't have any luck. Peace out. Till next time. One more thing I forgot to mention yesterday. If you guys like this video, if it helps you out at all, drop a like, drop a sub if you really want to. It's all up to you. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, just drop them in the comment box, please. I can help you out. Uh, I'm a very uh, interactive person. I'll reply to your comment as fast as it gets on the channel. It comes on my uh, phone to my notifications and I always like helping people out. So the, I wanted to add one more thing in for leveling a low level pet. Like if you say you, you tame Broken Tooth and you're having a hard time leveling him up, go to Ungirl Crater. It's probably the best place to level your pet up. Go to the Raptors on the south side of Ungoro Crater. They're like level 49, 48 mobs, but you can just melt them and makes it speeds it up a hell of a lot that's the one thing i forgot those the gorillas aren't bad but they they have a lot of armor right so they're a lot tougher to kill but as your pet gets a little higher level so like once your pet's like 48 or so 47 then i would go i'd probably do the gorillas because they give they'll give a little more experience but other than that it's a grindy uh it's a grindy road to get that pet leveled up i know what it's like i've been playing a hunter for a very long time but like anything in life, the grind is always worth the end reward to keep on pushing. Keep on going. You'll get there. Stay safe. See you guys next time. Take care. Hope to see you guys uh, drop some comments. I'd like to see your guys' feedback. If you have any other uh, questions, if you guys have any better areas to level up a low-level pet, drop it down below. See you guys next time. Peace.